This is a Nimbin poem, and it's titled, I Speak of a Village, for Octavio Path and Yindi Kalina. I speak of a village of sleepwalkers in a ruined valley that we call beautiful. In the mirror of a forgotten river, flanked by a colossus of weeds, thousands of camphor trees in a strangle of lantana, vines and devil's thorn. I speak of the ghost of an axe, a pale white pioneer, ghosts of a grand forest, a sea of forest, grounded, stumped to eerie, empty paddocks, ghosts of thieves who cobbled their shops and homes, poured concrete and tar over ghosts of the first people, their millennia slashed and burned, forgotten ghosts of shame, of immeasurable flora and fauna, vanquished, void. I speak of a village, a village of a thousand, in a valley of 10,000, of a 100,000 visitors, a river of faces on one street, tides of tour buses, travellers, families, sun-glassed, sun-blocked, glazing through the narrows of street traders and a connive of drug dealers with eyes like cockroaches, peddling their chemistry to speed, to slow, to drowse, to drool, to hallucinate, to fuel with fire water, nicotine, caffeine, codeine. As day thickens, the stone faces become sculpture to the street, to the wandering tribe of strangers. Voices become soundtrack where gossip fights rumour for the last word. The village swells, invisible people evaporate in the vertigo of car fumes, coffee cups, a graffiti of caps, t-shirts, bags and tats. A rotation of lovers sitting with lattes, speaking of pixels and terabytes and festivals, taking countless photos of each other. I speak of a Facebooked village, a fleeting army of friends saying, see me, feel me, hear me, like me, please like me, LOL, BFF, WTF or whatever. A party town, a whirlpool of parties, a festival of smoke and drink, a merry-go up and down and round on a drugged dance floor under a blaze of constellations. At the bottom of the night, a sliver of silence between the last and the first car, the last laugh and the first bird song, a simple gift that starts each day, each day that moves from silence to silence, sifting dreams into the rising light, dreams and phantasms and a shimmer of visions that lurk from the night, visions of Dogville, a village of dogs, a coddling of overbred miniatures and of slathering hounds straining at ropes and chains, Visions of dead men walking with guitars, with three-legged dogs under a hostile sun, a black three-legged cat, a tatter of prayer flags, a python neck scarf, a face tattooed as spider webs. Visions of tanned, beautiful people speaking French, Spanish, German, Italian, Chinese, Japanese. Visions of the criss-crossed paths of mothers leading duckling lines of children with their confections, fairy wings and plastic guns. Visions of the march of the toad, the war of the toad. Visions of a procession of lightning marching from the west when rain becomes the face of the village and the forgotten river remembered finally in its rage. A runaway clock, a cash register clock, 
opens and closes the village each day, opens aromas of the baker's oven, opens a curtain on the painter's canvas, opens the hands of the artist, the flower of the dancer, the poet's page waiting for words, Peacemakers chalk their actions on the paths of the painted street as the village is flushed with a legion of school buses and a dazzle of children. Under a mockery of crows, under a Greek chorus of kookaburras, the street theatre plays melodrama, circus and curse, occasional uproar, strange fashions, plays boredom, Relentless parade, Twitter and chatter plays joy and brimming laughter. I speak of a village of an hour when the houses are sleeping, the cars are sleeping, when the moon rolls down the street. The village invents another village. Buried idols of dead singers in their harlequin and rainbow and crushed velvet and bandanas carrying guitar cases, mandolins and dulcimers to a hushed stage of candles and incense. Apparitions ramble the night into pieces, into the weight of years. Memories of moon dances and mud, the lunatic in the park, ghosts of police, of teachers, of doctors and nurses who've picked up the pieces, patched them and put them back on the one street. A village of four empty churches, locked curios that open one hour each month where the ageing faithful whisper words to a saint or a virgin or a god who left town years ago. I speak of a village, a novelty of history, a relic of peace and love, a village that never wonders how it came to be, how it stole its way into the hearts of others, how it stole the naked hills, watching all the comings and goings, beholding the line of village where the land is sliced like bread into parcels, quarters, eighths, sixteenths and beyond. On deep green slopes, murmurs, and echoes of love stories sleeping under the blanket of the forest, under the drumming of the moon. The village uncurls into the river. The river unwinds into the mountain where it all breathes <gasps> its moment <sighs> and is gone. Thank you. Thanks very much.